Hello, welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm your host, Jeff Cork, joined today by Alex Van Aken. Hello. And hey, and Blake Hester. Hey, guys, I've been workshopping something. Let me know if this is anything. Okay. Okay. NGT47. Get it? Ooh. Oh. Is that anything? I, I can still work on it a little bit if you need me yeah, to. Yeah, I, but... I probably should workshop that more, but you know. Yeah. yeah. Good effort. So, Alex, <laughs> let's talk to you for a while here over there. Uh, what are we looking at here, buddy? We're looking at Hitman 3. This is the opening mission that is set in Dubai. And uh, we're going to try to beat this thing in uh, 10 minutes if we in can. 10 minutes. I say it can't be done. Listen, I'm from the future. I say yeah? it can be. It can be. All right. So we're going to show people one of my favorite. Um, Hitman 3 has mission stories. Right, um, right, which right. Which are kind of more guided, you know. Hey, follow this, you know, th this breadcrumb we're going to lead you through and kind of show you a more cinematic approach to, mm -hmm. you know, beating this level. And so we're going to yeah. do one of those today. And then we're going to use a shortcut that can be unlocked mm -hmm. to uh, finish our second target off. Right. Yeah, this is set in the Scepter Tower. And there are two uh, high profile targets here. What do we got? Carl Ingram and Marcus Divescent. I read off the screen. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> so they're, so, they're here for the, the opening ceremonies of this tower. Exactly. So this is a mission story that's being revealed right now. These guards are talking about another guard that didn't show up for his shift. So we're going to exploit that. Yes. All right. So we just overheard that. Now we're going to go downstairs. We have to um, get this guy's transfer papers, like his resume, that's mm -hmm. going to be used to kind of gain the trust of, of Marcus one of right. our targets but yeah this i have i feel like at this point i have played this mission so much um at this point like as of as of this recording i have beaten the game this mission in four minutes i think wow. Wow. Four minutes so i have i see like all i see the numbers i don't see colors yeah. anymore so it's like numbers <laughs> that four minute run is it just sloppy like i'm running through Areas people are detecting me, but I don't care. Kind yes, of my I have beaten the game in five minutes and fifty seconds as Silent Assassin. Really? Um, yes, there is a way to do it. I don't want to spoil it. Obviously, we are picking up this guy's papers quietly. Yeah. And leaving. Is that five-minute <laughs> footage? It's in Canada. Darn. Oh. oh, I know, right? I know. Shoot. <laughs> That's great. But um, but yeah. So now we are headed back upstairs to the guard office where we just came from. Right. And uh, we're going to kind of begin this this, this mission. So I have an idea. you're going to present yourself. You're going to say, hey, you may have noticed me eavesdropping moments ago about that guy. I'm actually he. Yes. Exactly. Is that how this is going to play out? Yeah. Okay. That's how Hitman goes a lot. I got lost a little as you can see in the footage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we're back. Yeah. You can and, shave off a little time of your speed run there. But exactly. Um, I actually really like the kind of like the aesthetic of this this location it's like oh, so, it's so elegant cool. and mm -hmm. that opening you know five minutes that people can go and watch on our youtube channel like it just it's so cinematic and ah it's yes. so good yeah absolutely out of his mind waiting for you do you have the papers yes good i'll call him now how should i address him it's classified so you don't call him anything but officially he's just known as definitely don't call him shirley codename pinky <laughs> I've been trying to figure figure out what that means. I haven't yet. Um, but yeah, codename Pinky. So now uh, they are going to call the target for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be well on our way to taking him out. Okay. Seems like you're going to be going exceptionally loud, or is that just part of your costume? This is just part of my costume. You okay. Know? You got to look the part, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. All right. And then we get to watch Agent 47 try to do really awkward small talk just a heads up <laughs> the package is a real ball breaker if and one thing i did notice and i'm sorry for talking over world. you know so this dialogue but yeah as I've, I've run this exact scenario multiple sure. times mm -hmm. and the dialogue sure. changes every time you know oh, there's, really? like, there's more than just one you know little do small, small talk dialogue um so it's, it's pretty cool to replay it and yeah. see like and it calls back to like earlier hitman games there's like little references um and it's it's a lot of fun. Interesting. And I know that like we got to play a bunch of this for the, the cover story, and I played this mission 
and I saw a reference to uh, exploding golf balls on this mission yes. at one point. Did you follow that mission story? No, I really want to. That's like one of the uh, the last things I have to do in this mission. Okay. Uh, did you? No, I did not, unfortunately. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. I, I want to know if it's just like empty promise or if you can actually go and, you know. I would be completely blown away if it was an empty promise. There's no way. I know. So we've given this guy our paperwork, and now um, we are his new guard duty. But there is... Man, as far as like an opening mission, I know like Hitman 2016 begins with a fashion show. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you've got Miami and Hitman 2. This is not as bombastic, I feel like, as those. Like, I feel like, you know, this is less spectacle in some regards, but the moments that it does give you as a player uh, are really great. Yeah, I think that like this tower is really interesting from just like an architectural perspective. It's not like the spectacle, like you were saying, of just seeing like a ton of people and crazy activity, but it's just a really interesting space. Mm -hmm. And it's, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's like deceptively large also. Like the, from what I play, there's a like ton of places to explore. Like we're going to like, we're backstage of what an art installation right now. Yep. We just yep. walked past, yeah. And now we are going outside to a sort of like construction Helipad area. I remember this part. Yep, yep. Yeah, this part's great. And it was, I was not expecting, uh, people will see what happens next, but it's, it's a lot of fun. Normal stuff. Like, you're going to beat this guy's security. You got to throw some knives at some swinging boxes. That's just how it is, man. Your resume only takes you so far. I know, right? You gotta show you have experience. Yeah. You need like one of those heat seeking briefcases. I would have made this a lot easier, I would imagine. Look at it. Oh, a natural. Oh, yeah. I've done this. You've done. Oh, my lord. Are there any repercussions if you miss and that knife hits someone on the ground down there? Oh, my lord. No, yeah, it would take like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just. I, I, a sharpened knife falling a quarter of a mile <laughs> to the ground. Yeah, I think it like pierces the Earth's crust. Oh, okay. Oh, bye. <laughs> now, here's where things go south. What? Oh, no. I hate to do this, but. However. Oh, however. Hate to see you leave, love to watch you walk away, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. What I'm most excited for for this game, which I think is uh, probably not the intended way to consume this game, but is to literally just watch people who get super good at it and speed run it like this, who can complete a level in 11 minutes, because I'm just mm -hmm. never going to have that attention span to be able to do this. So I'm really stoked to see like when this game's been out for a month, how quickly mm -hmm. people are getting through this stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's I, funny. I, oh, go ahead, Jeff. Go ahead. I was going to say you were concerned about those boxes falling down. Uh, How about the, the knives falling down? There's a, <laughs> a knife stuck in a guy. But anyway, sorry. Um, no, that's a great, a great observation. Um, but yeah, I, I would say like this is the first Hitman game that I've actually like tried to, you know, get decent at. Yeah, um, I made it to number one on the leaderboard of like the press. Oh, you know, so I was feeling pretty go. good about that. Who'd you um, beat on that list? Uh, I beat Call Jeff, him out. Uh, Jeff Grubb. Oh, hey, I don't you, know the guy, but you sure venture. Beat I got him, his number. I'll tell you what. <laughs> there we go. No, but like I, previous Hitman games, I haven't really been interested in speed running. And I don't know if it's just, you know, it, it, this this particular level that I find the architecture, like Jeff said, really interesting or if I will continue to do it on other levels, but for now, I'm, I'm excited to try to, you know, optimize my runs, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the one that I could not, and obviously, I, I could not find a, an adequate way that felt satisfying to take out the second target as the guard. So I'm curious to see what you do here. Yeah, it's not as satisfying. Um, whoops. There is... There's a really satisfying way where you can get them both in the same room. That's really mm. great. Um, yep. If you follow one of the mission stories, um, this 
is one of these shortcuts. And if you watched our, you know, exclusive video on the shortcuts, you will know that these kind of are permanent ways to access your target much more easily. Mm. So I'm utilizing that in this playthrough. It was the uh, ladder, correct? Correct. Yep, that ladder okay. we came up just now. Normally you have to... to. I was gonna say normally you have to pry that open by exactly. looping like all the way around and everything like that. But exactly, you have to actually like do it the hard way. Yeah, you know, first to yeah. unlock that shortcut we just used. Because ordinarily that second target, uh, not as anticlimactic as that. No. Like, you would have had to worm your way through it. It was a little more interesting. <laughs> Yeah, and I, you know, part of the reason I, I did that for this playthrough is, um, you know, leave some mystery, right? There you, you go. Know, I'm showing you what what can be done afterwards, but, you know, first unlocking that shortcut and doing it the hard way is is a really fun experience to figure out. Yeah. Um, and there's, you know, as Hitman is, there's multiple avenues to do that, so. All right, what is this thing out again? January 20th? January 20th, I'll take it. Excellent. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Wow. That person was really good at playing that game. Those other people were really good at talking about it, too. If you find yourself saying either of these things, subscribe to Game Informer on YouTube for new episodes of New Gameplay Today, every week covering the hottest new and upcoming releases.